Alexa, give me a local news update. Hey, Philip, here's your news. In news, Maine. Well, when is the last time you made something with your hands? The students at the landing school in Arundel are about halfway through their boat building course, and they've reached a milestone. It's the one that requires a seemingly simple task, but New Center Maine's David Guildford reports on how it takes many hands to get this right. The landing school is a school unlike most. They fix boats. They design boats. The final idea from the plan of this boat. And Friday was a most special day for those who build them. It's a big day. This is Flip Day, and it's as it sounds. Since September, the students in this eight-month program have been crafting these two sailboats by hand. Most of our students have never touched hand tools, or if they have, barely. The school takes adults of all ages and backgrounds and quickly turns them into craftsmen. The flip comes midway through their course, and it's a simple change in perspective for some. But the students have never seen the boats right side up. Flip day is special because up to this point, you're looking at this assembled collection of wood. And yes, it's boat shaped, but it's upside down. So their classmates all come to help lift. And slowly, the the boat looks more pick it up from that side. Like a boat. Nicely done. Then they make quick work of the other craft. Awesome. Happy flip day, guys. <laughs> and then Max Keys can't wait to hop in. We just started from an empty shop floor, and now I'm sitting in a boat, so uh, it feels pretty good. Keys is a 26-year-old Coast Guard vet. Learning how to build the boat uh, that I used to used to drive, so that's kind of what brought me brought me here. Well, Emmett Scribner is fresh out of high school, but well on his way. The measure twice, cut once, and and that's very very important. <laughs> the school boasts 100% graduation and job offer rates. If you take a boat to a boat yard, regardless of what kind of boat you have, odds are you're going to run across a landing school graduate. Right but before all of that. They'll make this boat look like this one and test it on Sebago Lake in May. Being able to sail a boat that I built, I mean, that's something I've never had the uh, option of doing before, so I'm sure it'll be incredible. In Arundel, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. <laughs> Alexa, stop the news. Alexa, give me the forecast for Lewiston, Maine for the next seven days. In Lewiston for the next seven days, Saturday, 38 degrees Fahrenheit and cloudy skies. Sunday, 37 degrees and cloudy skies. Monday, 33 degrees and cloudy skies. Tuesday, 25 degrees and mostly sunny weather. Wednesday, 31 degrees and intermittent clouds. Thursday, 36 degrees and lots of clouds. Friday, 36 degrees and cold weather and freezing rain. Alexa, give me a sports update. Here's your sports update. In basketball, yesterday, the Celtics demolished the Heat 143 to 110. Celtics and Clippers are facing off tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. In ice hockey, the Boston Bruins beat the Ottawa Senators 3-2 in overtime. And Philadelphia Flyers will play Boston Bruins tomorrow afternoon at 12.30 p.m.